cold electricity has its roots in the studies of Nikola Tesla. Tesla's discovery was groundbreaking, he connected a heavy U-shaped copper rod directly across the main end of his circuit breaker, resulting in a fatal short circuit. He then added normal incandescent light bulbs between the legs of the U-shaped rod. When the device was turned on, the bulbs emitted a brilliant cold white light. This was impossible with conventional electricity, indicating that Tesla had stumbled upon something new. This new energy is sometimes referred to as, cold electricity, and Edwin Gray Sr. demonstrated its unique characteristics by lighting an incandescent filament bulb directly from his source tube, submerging them in water, and placing his hand in the water. Cold electricity is generally considered safe for humans. Gray's energy tube works by generating radiated electrical waves using a spark gap and capturing energy using three copper cylinders that surround the spark gap. The cylinders are drilled with multiple holes to enhance load collecting capacity, and the load is transmitted directly from the current in the cylinder. When lighting the bulb, Gray used an air core transformer made of only a few turns of very heavy wire. I personally know two people who have independently recreated Gray's energy tube. While conventional electrical appliances always radiate some heat to their surroundings, radiant energy devices that produce cold electricity absorb heat from the surroundings. Note, absorption is present, energy consumption but no energy dissipation phenomenon. Cold electricity works with devices that are uniform, always absorbing heat from their surrounding environment, hence the name cold. Tesla first demonstrated this type of electricity in the 1890s while he was working on his hairpin circuit. Radiant energy involves capturing a brief, fleeting spike of energy. Charging a battery with radiant energy produces a negative dissipative energy effect on the battery because there is no heat involved in the process. Origin of cold electricity from Edwin Gray In 1957, a Russian immigrant to the USA, one Alexei Popov, showed Edwin Gray a circuit which he said he had been shown by Nikola Tesla. Tesla in his Philadelphia and St. Louis lecture in 1893 showed how loads can be powered when a high voltage source is pulsed by magnetically quenched sparks, this creates DC pulses of very short duration. Edwin Gray joined up with his next door neighbor Marvin Cole, who held a master's degree in mechanical engineering and who, unlike Gray, was able to understand the circuitry. Peter Lindemann points out that Ed Gray's power conversion tube circuit is effectively a copy of Nikola Tesla's circuit. The Ed Gray power system, the power tube presented to the public by Edwin Gray, operates by generating a series of very short, very sharp pulses using a spark gap. From 1958 to 1972 Marvin Cole, Ed's neighbor, working alone, designed and built ever more powerful prototype engines, and it was a small one of these which was tested by Caltech. In this period, Marvin also developed ever more powerful power supplies, which are the really important item in all of this. In 1967, Ed Gray rejoins Marvin Cole and together from 1967 to 1972, they solicited venture capital and promoted the technology. Early in 1972, for unknown reasons, Marvin Cole disappeared was murdered and never saw Gray again. <laughs>